Samsung S3 Guru here, and I'm going to talk about the um, SanDisk uh, 64 gig, um, yeah, 64 gig um, SD card, um, which is available out there now. First thing I want to talk about is the the unit and the price. Um, I got one because I happened to just come across something on one of these Android sites. And it was uh, forty nine ninety five for sixty four gigs, and I was like, okay, that's just ridiculous. I'm gonna have to go out and get that. And then somebody else asked me for it, and I went back and looked, and it was like a hundred and some odd dollars. And then a few days later, I went and I went to a couple of different sites, and I went to Best Buy and went here and there, and they had it for forty nine. And then I went back again, and it was a hundred and some odd. So if you pay more than forty nine ninety five, there's a problem. So you just need to just Search around, uh, and you will find it out there for sixty four ninety five. It's it's literally like it's if it's not here today, it'll be there tomorrow. Okay, so it uh, comes in very plain packaging, nothing spectacular. Um, it comes with the ever popular adapter. Let's actually take a look at the unit itself. Let me uh, let me go in and unmount it, and then I will remove it. You should always unmount it and mount it rather than just pulling it out uh, let's see so I'm gonna go to unmount and that will it says do you want to take it out I say okay fine it says now you can unmount it so obviously in the back of your unit when you take it out there's a little SD card slot again most of you don't need to see all this but I'm just gonna go over it real quick um, so this is um, 64 gig and it's a class 10 so it's actually super fast so I can do one of two things uh, well, actually, what I ended up doing is putting it in the little adapter, putting the adapter in my um, unit, putting a folder on there, and downloading like a gazillion movies and some music and some stuff that I wanted to carry along with me. And then, obviously, when you're done, you pull that out, you take your back off, you go ahead and push that in, and when you install it, it will go ahead and figure it out. Now, one of the things I had to do the first time I put it in I had to reboot it. I was like sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting and I was like, this thing just isn't going to see it. Um, so you may run into that uh, when you mount it. So if, for example, as you can see, I've put it in and of course I'm not seeing anything happen here right now. So I will have to reboot before I actually see it. Uh, so I'll go ahead and do that now. 